Hi there, I'm Ethier for Advice Media and here we have the Samsung Galaxy Core and in this video we're going to do the first boot up and show you what all comes pre-installed onto this Android smartphone. This is a GTI A262 model and it comes with a dual SIM feature. This smartphone has a huge demand in the market right now and considering the 20% price drop in the price after the announcement, it seems to have a huge requirement in the market. Let's proceed with the setup of the device as of now. So here we go, we are onto the home screen. As you can see here, these are different home screens which you get with the widgets pre-installed onto the same. So as you can see, we have the music player widget here, the videos widget, the weather widget, the Google search box and uh, shortcuts to few other applications and uh, options so this is what you get out of the box let me go to the settings and show you the first thing that's the os version and it's android 4.1.2 that's jellybean out of the box let's proceed with the applications area and check out what all apps come pre-installed onto this by default you obviously know that the google based applications would come up pre-installed because this is an android based device but apart from that there's the s voice application and a few games which come pre-installed onto this device which is pretty interesting like the Asphalt 6, Assassin's Creed, Bubble Bash, Cricket Fever and the Avengers. So it clearly shows that these 5 games are something uh, special which are coming pre-installed onto this device apart from the regular applications. Let me just go to the settings area and uh, check out the internal storage here. So as you can see out of the total 4.75 GB storage space available, there is a total available space of 4.42 GB which clearly tells us that the device has a 8 GB internal storage out of which 4.42 is available for you which is pretty interesting because it's not that low when compared to the Sony Xperia M. Talking about the display, the display is also pretty decent enough in this case and uh, it's quite beautiful and vibrant when compared to the Sony Xperia M which we have here. We would be doing a comparison of this device with the Sony Xperia M because both of them have a similar pricing and then uh, you can decide which is a better smartphone for the price you're paying. Do like this video if you actually like the content and we hope to see you in our next video.